In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a title or an intro slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created uh, some curved shapes of different colors. And here at the bottom, I have added uh, three different titles. And then on this side, I have used the report 2020. You can use it maybe for annual report or some other purpose. You can just uh, replace the text. And then on the top right side, you can add your company logo and the company name. And the left side, I have just given the main title as a business headline. And I have given a small animation to it. When I click, you can see here this particular image is slowly zooming in. You know, this will give a very good uh, effect on the presentation. And similarly, I have made one more uh, slide where I have used a different image. And based on the image, I have used uh, some different colors. So just to give you an idea of what exactly you can do with this particular slide. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a blank slide, go to insert shapes and I'm going to select a rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe covering more than half of the slide. You can see here shape outline. I'm going to give no outline and shape will you can give any color of your choice. So let me just give this color and right mouse click. Let me go to format shape fill. I'll make it somewhat transparent. And then I want to give a curve shape for this. To do that, right mouse click, go to edit points. And you can see here the four points. I'm just going to the top left point and dragging it down. You can see here and make sure that this is properly aligned. And then this particular point the white small square shape just drag it down you can see here and go to this one which is the top right click here and just make it up so you can see here you got this particular shape i'm going to add three more shapes here for that let me just go to insert shapes and i'm going to select this right triangle draw the right triangle from this end it doesn't matter it is overlapping that we can adjust it later on and just release this and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give some dark colors there and again i'm going to make it somewhat transparent so that exactly we know what we are doing and then right mouse click edit points and then select this one and just drag it down and this also you can just drag it down so you end up getting this shape and i'm just sending this to back and once we remove the transparency this won't be visible i'm just going to select this press ctrl d again and i'm going to give some darker color and then and drag it here and i'm just going to bring it somewhat down you can see here and again, if you want, you can just make it more curved. You can see here, I can just bring this here and I can make it more curved also, something like this. So let me just remove this transparency here. And this also, I'm just going to send this to back. This transparency also I'm going to remove and this transparency also I'm going to remove. And you can just make this more curved. Actually, this is not fully curved. Right mouse click, edit point, and sorry, right mouse click, edit points. You can further make it more curved. And this also, you can right mouse click, edit point, and So you can see a one design is ready here and if you want you can add one more at the top and then i'm just going to add one more rectangle here for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle and draw the rectangle covering the whole white space and just till here and shape outline make it no outline and then just send this to back so this is the place where I'm going to add the image. To add the image, just click on the picture and click insert 
from file you can just select the path and select the image you want to insert it here so you can see here i have added this particular image now this is like is fully stretched i can just go here down and remove the tick mark here and i'm just going to offset bottom i'm just going to make it more down and this offset top i'm just going to make it up here you can see here so which way you can uh, best fit you can just uh, do the offset settings here and again uh, before that one this one looks very small to me i can just increase also something like this can you see here and again right mouse click edit point and then you can make it more curved also so whatever this also i can just increase the size you can see here and then i'm going to add the title here for that go to insert text box and i will just say business title and i'm going to make this as a white font shadow effect choose the font of your choice make it bold and increase the size you can see here this is my title and again if you want some details also you can add it here and then on the right side i'm just going to add one small oval shape so that you can add your company logo here let me just give a white color no outline and then insert text text box just company name i'll say company name and again this also center align white font if you want to make it bold and then open sans and then below you can add the options here so here i'm just going to add three options or four up to your requirement go to insert and i'm going to say text box and i'm just saying zero one again make it the font color i'm just going to use this color center align make it bold open sans and increase the size so this is zero one here i'm just going to put it and then i'm going to add one more text again and i will say this is title one again the same color font open sans and if you want you can reduce the size and make it bold and below i'm just going to add more detailed text press ctrl d to duplicate it i'll remove the bold if you want you can give a light gray color and i will just add your detail text here you can see here you can add your detail text let me just bring it somewhat closer and to divide or segregate i'm just going to add one line here you can see here and this also shape outline i'm going to give this line this color and then i'm just selecting this one hold the shift key select all these four objects press ctrl d so this is my second option again ctrl d this is my third option let me just delete this line i can just make it two and this will be three here also title also two and title sorry this is two and this is three so you can see here we have almost done uh, the design you can add a little bit animation for this particular image for that let me just select the image go to animations enable the animation pane and go to add animation i'm going to select grow or shrink you can see here slowly it comes out so double click this one and timings i'm going to make it extremely slow you can see here extremely slow it should go very slow maybe i can say 30 also and click ok and when i play when i click you can see here slowly it is just zooming in all right so you can just add so if you want you can add any image of your choice and change the color as per your requirement and make it as a title slide and one more thing which i forgot to 
add here is the main heading for that go to insert shapes and from the rectangles i'm just selecting the top corners rounded just make this slide uh, this shape and make it fully curved from the top and the color i'm just going to use the same color shape outline make it no outline and then you can rotate it you can see here rotate left 90 degrees and just add it here and then you can insert more detailed text here for example i will just say 2020 maybe the white font i will select it bold open sans and increase the size so you can you can mention report 2020 or annual report or whatever whichever uh, title you want to give you can just add it here also and then if you want to do animations you can do the animations for all these particular objects That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.